And watch the video about manufacturing and I'll let you know more about the process. Well, let's go do it. At Industrial Metal Plating, we deal with a wide variety of customers. Automotive, military, medical, flashlights, fishing reels, lacrosse sticks, just to name a few. Our process starts with taking aluminum parts and racking them on titanium racks. They're then wheeled up to an anodized line where they're picked up, cleaned, anodized, colored in some cases, sealed with a nickel acetate seal. After that, they're brought out for a quality inspection, then packed up and delivered back to our customer. The manufacturing process often consists of multiple steps. This car alloy started as raw metal, then was dipped to be colored and now is a custom product. My job is to bring the customer's product onto the floor. Different positions here that I play a role in, so um, I don't just have one hat, I wear many hats. The department's pretty versatile. Earlier we were doing some big car rims for a client, uh, and we had to make some spacers, uh, so I was able to laser those out. Industrial metal planning goes above the typical manufacturing process by creating innovative products. What you are seeing now is the process of laser engraving. We were given the option of what image we wanted to engrave. First, the image was sized properly in the computer program. Then the piece of metal was set in place and now you are watching the final product being created. We chose an image of Benjamin Franklin. After all, he was one of the originals of the manufacturing game. Plus, who doesn't like a hundred dollar bill? In the paradise department, we put the graphics onto aluminum parts, anodized aluminum parts. Mom, can you tell me how you can put it in there and play on this? All I can tell you is we take this and turn it into this. The aspect of my job is a lot of people don't, never seen it before. It's detailed and has, there's some pride in that. From tech accessories to hunting and sports gear to personalized items, industrial metal plating has it all. I think it's very important for students to get some real life experience. Go out there, learn a trade, whether it be carpentry or welding or something then get into an internship and get yourself out to a manufacturing facility.